you don't want to starve and even enjoy your life, then I will show you how to cook the best meal of your entire life. The best part? It's easy as pie. What you'll be learning today is how to cook spaghetti bolognese or spaghetti bolognese as the Italians say. Once you gather all the ingredients, then you begin to actually cook. The first step is to chop your onions. Then it's time to put them on the frying pan on high heat along with cooking fat. Be cautious not to burn your onions and make sure to turn them every so often. Do this until they're transparent and soft. In the meantime you can start to boil the water for your pasta. Remember to add a generous pinch of salt when making your pasta water. Put a lid on your pot. Here I'm using two pots so I can cook spaghetti with and without gluten. The reason for this is to avoid contamination and mixing up with the pastas. Once the onions are done, put them aside on a plate or any other container. And then it's time to start to fry your minced meat. Put it on your frying pan along with uh, some fat and then you're off to the races. And the key here is not only to look at the color of the meat but also the liquid under it. You have to wait until all of it is done before moving on to the next step. In the meantime you can chop celery and carrots for the sauce. Once the meat is cooked it is time for you to add the browned yellow onions. Then the carrots, then the celery, and finally crushed tomatoes. Once the ingredients have been worked into the sauce you can add tomato paste. This makes the sauce uh, thicker and provides a uh, better flavor. Now let the sauce do its magic for about 15 minutes and then it's ready for the next step. It won't burn because there is a lot of liquid in the sauce already from the both the tomato paste and tomato sauce. While the sauce is doing its magic you should take out the beans from the package and use a strainer and rinse them in cold water. The way you know that they are good to go is that once the bubbles have disappeared then they are ready. Then pour them into the frying pan and then work them into the sauce. Remove the pot lid, now add spaghetti into the boiling water. Most cooking times for spaghetti can vary between 2 to 15 minutes, so read the packaging of your spaghetti to make sure that you are doing the correct time. Make sure to stir them and test the consistency of them, so they become perfect al dente. When you're waiting for your pasta, it is perfect time to make the seasoning of the sauce. A good rule of thumb for seasoning is to make a little circle with your spices. And remember not to be shy when adding them. The food has to taste something. Here I'm using black pepper, oregano, salt and tabasco. Uh, the sauce is basically complete now once you're happy with the flavor. You just wait for the pasta to be done and then rinse it with a strainer. Make the table and serve. 